everyone welcome to the last uh movie reviews of the pixar movies that i watched all in one day <laughs> this is the last one and this was one that i actually had no real interest to watch mostly because i had seen the first two and i was fine with that and this one blew me away um and that is toy story 3 now i was part of the generation that watched toy story 1 and then I watched Toy Story 2, and by far that one was my favorite between the two of them because um, I connected so hard with Jessie, uh, the female cowboy. If you haven't seen Toy Story 2, one of the big plot lines for her is she talks about her former uh, owner, Emily. And Emily eventually just grew out of toys, and she, was, she basically donated Jessie and a lot of her other toys. But the way that it was put in, it looked like she just straight up abandoned her on the side of a road. I cannot watch that scene without crying because I have, that's why I held on to toys for so long because I felt they were actually real. So I held on to a lot of toys for a long time because I had that kind of mentality. Um, it wasn't until I got much older that I was actually able to separate myself from them. <laughs> but... I was very much like Andy in that situation. Well, in this one, Andy is getting ready to go off to college. And for the most part, he hasn't played with his toys in years, much like I was. Um, and then he ends up deciding to donate his toys to a daycare. Now, originally, they get put into a daycare for older kids. Um, and they take very good care of their toys, they take care of them, they treat them nicely, and it's basically like a paradise. But then, they end up meeting an older toy there, named Lotso, who's a big purple teddy bear. And he says, well, we have another place for you guys that'll be much better than this, so we'll put you in there. They basically get put with the babies. And the babies are cruel! They are absolutely cruel to the toys. And I will say that the one thing that I love, there are two things that I love about this movie. One, Woody, for the most part, is very smart in this. But I will say that he has one very large failing, and that is he is optimistically helpful. And even when he knows to not trust someone, he still gives them the benefit of the doubt. And that irritates me because I see so many people who have that kind of mentality. And it's like, what are you doing? That person is not... Ugh. Whatever. But I will say the ending of Toy Story 3, when Andy gives over his toys to Bonnie, it makes sense. It actually wraps up the story very well. And that's why I was really bitter when I heard Toy Story 4 was coming out. And I did watch, like, the opening part of it. And honestly, I was really irritated with it. And I did not think that it needed to be done. So, but that's me. That's my own personal thing. So, <laughs> uh, but I really liked Toy Story 3. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. Um, but it was good. It was pretty good. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.